Hey YouTube, thank you again for visiting the Basic Jelly J channel. What I want to do today is, someone asked me to do a video on um, how to go direct um, instead of your amp going into your computer and still get the same the same sound or better intonation. All right, what I'm gonna do is go over how I do it. This is the bass I'm gonna use right there, and what I do, I use a Behringer. You I forgot the name of it. But I, there it is, a Behringer U, Fora, UMC 202 HD, all right? Patch one, I got my, get my bass guitar going in, all right? And it goes into my bass, all right? What I do, I don't use um, monitors. I use these decent studio monitoring headphones, okay? I use those. And I go into Logic in my MacBook Pro. Now, a lot of people talk about getting um, stereo, but they only get one side of the track. And I'm going to show you how to arm or disarm the track so you can get stereo instead of mono to where you only hear one side. All right. So let's talk about that right quick. Let me pull this up on me. All right. All right. So if you see right here. And Logic, I have the bass track right here, all right? I got the bass and guitar track. Now, what, what most times Logic loads like this. Come up here, take that off. Come over to the track. That's your bass guitar track. Right here, you're going to see two circles. That means stereo right there. What you want to do is disengage that to where there's one circle. And what that one circle does for the bass it makes a mono, but stereo in the track. All right? Very easy. So all this over here is my um, bass guitar. So same thing right here. Take it off. One button. One, one, um, one zero. So instead of stereo here, you want to make the track mono, which comes in to the recording track as stereo. All right? You got it? So again... Let me come out and show you how to do it again. Let me delete this track. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, gonna come up here and I'm gonna uh, do new track. And then what I'm gonna do is bass, guitar, um, bass and guitar track. I'm gonna create. And remember I told you this is gonna come up disengage that by going here all right and then now you see how it has stereo in the instrument track all right what i want to do click it boom now it's no longer stereo on either side it's mono but on the track itself it's stereo got it that's all you do all right so what you can do is take a, a basic audio track load it up into logic Put your bass in there, or you can use other MIDI instruments to create your own your own play. All right, you can record everything in Logic 10. All right, I hope this been, has been helpful to someone. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. We thank you very much. So if you do not know how to make an instrument track stereo, it's the opposite. Make it mono and it's, it records stereo in the um, recording track. All right, a little bit tired. So we ask you to please like our videos. Please subscribe. Um, the channel's doing very good, only after um, not even a year yet. Um, but we want to get up there a little bit better. All right, so again, Logic Pro 10, MacBook Pro, Euphoria by Behringer, UM. C202 HD, and you have the Audio um, Technica <laughs> headphones, which I use for my monitors. I think I pay like 70 bucks off of Amazon, but they're very good. Very, very good. And they're monitoring headphones. All right, right here. Make sure that you um, do direct monitor. So what that does, it takes you from the recording application direct direct in your headphones and you can control that 
right there. All right? It's very important. All right, then you have your headphone volume. Headphone volume up and down. Direct monitor must be on. All right, so you won't get that latency or that delay. All right, make sure you engage. Just that one. That's for mic. That's for guitar. All right, <laughs> this is the guitar volume. Thank you very much. It's like having an amplifier hooked to your computer. All right, and again, going into my Ken Smith bass. All right, have a great day now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate you very much. Again, this has been Bassilla J. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thank you.